Hi guys. IL3D here. Hope you've been fine. Some of you ask. How to do the face SS, so here you have it. This is going to be faster than the one in the body, because we already have the skin shader of the body. Make a duplicate and rename it face SS. Then make sure that your model have UVs, this is important. Then, let's fix the color of our face shadows to a lighter one. Now let's begin with the fun part. Duplicate the mix RGB and set the second color as red. Then add an image texture node as factor of the new RGB node. Create a new 2K image and name it, Lips. Now this method consists in painting masks. This will give you a nice color control. In other words, we going to paint a black and white image. By default Blender reads black as transparent and white as information. So if we need to add info we paint white. If we need to erase or refine we going to use black. To change from one color to another we going to use the X key. Make sure to activate the mirror mode. And here we go. As you can see, you have total control of the colors. You have to keep in mind to always save your image before you add a new one or just step out of the texture paint mode. Cause if you don't, Blender will erase it. Now, let's duplicate the mix RGB in the image texture nodes. Create a new 2K image and name it Shadows and Specular. Set the color to a lighter pink to add some details in eyes and nose. Go back to the texture paint mode and make sure that you have selected the new mask. Don't forget to save the image. Now let's add some specular detail by using those two masks we already create. We need to mix them with a mix RBG, but this time we are going to let the factor input free. Add a color ramp to have total control of the effect. As you can see now we can add some specular to the lips and around the eyes. And if you need to add some specular to the face you just need to change the value of the black booklet to gray. And that's it. Those are the basics, so let's speed up the video. Using this method you can add a tons of details by layering. If you want to learn something about my workflow or just like to see this kind of content, don't forget go to my Facebook page and give it a like. I really appreciate it. Leave your comments I'll be responding to all of them. So, be nice, be good. See you around, bye.